Yeah, so y'all was wanting me to talk about this shit. Man, what the fuck, bro? This nigga looking like a crackhead ass Slim Shady. First of all, nigga, the Slim Jesus name, that's very disrespectful. I don't even know why he even chose Jesus to put in his name with fuckery like this. Then, it's motherfuckers co-signing this bullshit. What the fuck is wrong with the Chicago artist? I think Lil Durk, the only nigga that actually says something to the degree of basically, fuck this shit, he making a mockery of the drills music. You feel me? I done seen Lil Baby co-sign this nigga, P. Rico co-sign this nigga, and another nigga. It's like, what the fuck are y'all doing? So I'm scrolling through YouTube, and I just see, if y'all don't know, YouTube channel Rap Catch Up, it, it follows a lot of Chicago artists and they beefs and shit. Basically, this fool nigga right here had fake goddamn weed and a fake fucking gun this nigga was from the suburbs basically he's a fraud you know what i mean he begged niggas to get in the video i mean it's all he say she say shit you know what i'm saying but when i first seen this shit i it came across my eyes just like y'all's with facebook I thought it was like a parody at first because you know how niggas do parody so i'm like oh this must be a parody or some shit of like a chicago song the minute I seen this shit, I started rolling like, nigga, that's like me trying to fucking do a drill song. You feel me? It's like not saying I'm a sucker or soft or some shit like that, but it's like, come on. Obviously, I hung around it, but didn't partake in things of that nature. You dig? And it's like, is any of this shit, I seen a True Religion shirt, I wanted to start crying, laughing, like, <laughs> is that even real or did that come off a website? Because I'm like, I seen a lot of dope True Religion shit. I actually been in a True Religion store five times. You dig? I ain't never even seen no bullshit shirt like that. You dig? And I'm like, all right, whatever. Then the belt, it just, he just looked like a fake rapper. All that shit that he got on seemed like it came from the little websites with the replica shit. No offense to anybody that walk, uh, rock replica sneakers and clothes and all things of that nature. You know what I mean? Shout out to y'all. But it's just like, to perpetrate some shit like this, as you see, you got him. A nigga behind him and look like a true religion shirt. A nigga that's holding a gun. And from what the dude said, the other niggas holding a gun. You know, um, they guns real. His gun was fake. I mean, he holding some paper, but who the fuck knows? That could be this white boy's motherfucking allowance. You know what I mean? But it's not a white or black thing. Don't get it fucked up. I'm not being racist. But I just think this is the most fuckery shit. This is the type of shit that when shit happens that's real and they'll get shot, the world go, oh my God. I can't believe that happened. How the fuck did you know what's going to happen? This nigga out here portraying something that he ain't about. You feel me? It's like, nigga, just because you influenced by somebody and you listen to them, nigga, don't get your ass in the booth and try to do this shit. You feel me? Now, if he would have took the drill type beat and did some whole other shit to it, I would have thought that was dope. You know what I mean? Like, if you rapping about some motherfucking, I don't know, what do kids from the suburbs talk about? You know, uh, cars or you know, school or some dumb shit. Like, just make it a parody. If he was doing some parody shit, fine. That was funny, it was cool, but if you're going to get on some drill shit, it's like, nigga, you're not even a nigga. It's a white nigga. Like, you get what I'm saying, but I don't know what to think about this shit. Somebody asked me that, like, you should talk about it. What's to talk about? It's like, you can look at him and tell, you can look at him and tell this nigga is not about that shit. It look, he look frail as fuck. Like, look, he look dappered up. You feel me? And it's like, come on, my nigga. Real street niggas is not all, you know, it's a time and place for all that fly finesse type shit. Fresh hairline and shit like that. We see niggas with their dress looking crazy and all type of shit. When you really, really starting out in the streets, and you know what I mean? But that fly shit comes eventually. You know what I mean? A real nigga know you got to stay looking, you know, staying close for weeks, stacking that paper, doing what you do. It's a time and place, like I said, to get flying fresh. But this nigga out the gate on some true religion shit, some Gucci, this and that. Uh, come on, my nigga. Like, uh, the thing that always got me, if you paying $900 for a belt, why are you still selling drugs? Why are you in the hood? Obviously, you can afford a good motherfucking apartment somewhere. You feel me? It's just the concept alone. You dig? Bullets cost money, my nigga. <laughs> Guns cost money. Not that much because you get them in the streets, but I'm just looking at it as if you looking at it as a grown-up. I just take this shit as a joke. It's funny I seen a video once, I didn't take it serious, but it's just like, my nigga, don't make a mockery of something you know nothing about. You know what I'm saying? You fucking listening to goddamn 
Igloo Azalea and shit and think, oh, she's white, she make pop rap music, I'm gonna get into this drill shit. Of all the shit to get into, you're gonna do the, like, drill shit. Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. Take your ass back to the library and do some motherfucking studying, nigga. Get your education, get a good job, and get on with your motherfucking life. This shit right here, it, it ain't for you, my nigga. Slim Jesus, you need to get that shit up. I'm not saying that he ain't did what he say he doing, but it's just like, ah, come on, my nigga. Do you really want to be a part of that life? We done seen so many rappers that's supposed to be so fucking gangster get their ass beat on camera. We seen Plies got motherfucking damn near RKO'd off the stage, nigga. <laughs> he got Kurt Angle suplex, my nigga. And he talk all that gun toting in the bushes type shit. We seen 40 like get his ass punched up like Mayweather did Berto. You feel what I'm saying? So niggas is just crazy. You dig? I don't really understand this shit. But I just feel like this nigga is a straight fraud. He should give it up. <laughs> I'm done talking about this shit, you know what I mean? No shout out to that nigga. Nigga, run into a wall, go jump off a cliff. Other than that, knock this dumb shit off of this drill shit. Because if some real drill niggas come up on your ass, and, you know what I mean? Oh, and with the shit, you probably piss your fucking pants. <laughs> Straight up. You know what I mean? Don't be something that you ain't, my nigga. That's all I can say. I'm not a street nigga. I'm not a tough guy, none of that shit. You know what I mean? But if it come a time and a place to handle yourself and handle a situation, you got to do that. But just out the gate, I'm shooting you. I'm on lean fucking thoughts. Like, I'm not fucking believing that shit, nigga. Give it up. You know that this nigga is out the wheel. His parents is, is done with him. Timmy, you're off the wheel. We're taking back that goddamn BMW. We're done with this shit. You ain't no goddamn gangster. You know what I'm saying? You could tell he like a verb type of dude. You dig? If he would have came in the game on some Mac Miller shit, that shit would have been cool. Some Macklemore shit or whatever. But nigga, you out the gate. Sound like a knockoff, Chief Keith. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs>